We're rolling! Welcome to this week's edition of the latest in hobby robotics. This is a special edition. On my left I have not Rick, but I have Ignoble Known, aka Andrew from New Jersey. Hi Say guys. Hi. Hello everyone. Hello. How are you? And it's it's quite early in the morning where you're at. Yes, right? it's uh, six thirty, so uh, not too early. Rock. Now a few words about you, uh, Ignoble Known there. Uh, I'll just mention one of your robots. It's uh, it's a very potent potent robot, right? Which one is this? Do you know which one I'm talking about? Potent robot? Yeah, I call it needle something. Is it? Uh, are you talking about this guy? Uh, which one? Hang on, I'll just have to switch screen. Is that the uh, the little plant one? No, no, it was. No? Uh, it it couldn't see, but uh, it had something else going for it. Remember? Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Lemon. Yes. <laughs> that was that was my uh, my cheap knockoff on your drum robot. I wanted to try to make a, make a, a Fritz yellow drum robot, uh, but uh, so he's yellow even. That's why he's lemon. Yeah, and and it has uh, a, a ball uh, and it has a <laughs> stick, <laughs> and I just think that's very potent. Potent. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yes, you had that. Uh, you didn't. You, you, you. I can never look at him again the same way after your comments <laughs> uh, about what you thought that he has a. I called it his walking cane. It's a bump sensor in the front. It's a little switch, and it it sticks out in front. And uh, then then there was. If you can see the imagery here, there's a little ball on one side. That's the um, ball caster, and uh, a little bump switch next to it. Uh, now, now we have a theme for you as well this uh, week uh, because there's, there's, it appears that there is a small trend of uh, doing uh, fridge magnets uh, autonomous. It's uh, started by Isotope. Now, what is he doing? He's got a great little idea, creative idea, and he took uh, he built a robot that would drive around on your refrigerator. Yeah, it's it's got magnet wheels and it it moves around and instead of just being a a cute static uh, magnet that holds your papers up uh, on the fridge, it, it it moves around it everywhere moves around. And, and bumps into stuff. And I think a cool thing about this is that uh, often when you when you make a robot yourself, you can just sit there in your workshop and you can be real impressed yourself, and you can submit it to the internet where a lot of other geeks can find it very interesting. <laughs> but a uh, fridge, uh, a fridge magnet that can drive around is something that your family, your friends, uh, your your kids, whatever, can relate to. So it, it may be a really good project. This this thing that he made has uh, spawned off a couple of copies. The Ladybug Clone by uh, Num Numio. Numio. Numio, yes. And that's a very nice clone, that is. Uh, and he's got a little a uh, little better video there going. And uh, now we just saw uh, the uh, Freedom, uh, Freedom 555 bot uh, by Skater J10. And basically, this thing has got his. Well, that's a. Uh, can you tell something? That, that's that's yeah. It. So he's he's got a. It's a little less uh, highly polished, but a very simple little robot. And the wheels themselves are magnets. It drives around all over the fridge, and uh, he did it as part of the five 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 contest. That uh, so it's, there's no brain. It's just uh, <laughs> it just uh, drives around mindlessly and uh, bumps into stuff. It looks so cool. Now that was very simple, but let's have a look at something that is not very simple. That is uh, uh, um, uh, Tiberius' uh, Giga V4 custom humanoid robot. Let's hear about that one. All right. Well, if you happen to have uh, $10,000 and work in the industry, you can make one of these really cool robots yourself. Uh, it's, you know, the ultimate in walking, uh, you know, destruction, weapon-clad uh, monstrosity. It's, it, he's been working on it for a while. and. Uh, he works, uh, Tiberius works in the industry, so he's, he's got access to some cool stuff. And he says it didn't cost him uh, quite the $10,000 it would cost if you bought it all yourself, but uh, <laughs> uh, probably wasn't very cheap either. You can't, you can't build one of these with little cheap hobby servos. These are really high quality servos, very strong. And, uh, you know, he intends to use it for a competition. What's, which uh, competition is that? Do you remember? Nope. Okay, neither do I. But uh, he intends to use it. Uh, he built it for this competition, which is, you know, he, he works for a uh, robotics company, but he didn't build it for them. He built it for his, his, his own use, and uh, yeah. it's very cool. Yeah, it's Trosson, actually, he's working for, isn't it? 
Yes, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah and, and in fact, this one is, uh, uh, I think, one of the most uh, collected uh, robots as well. And let's make robots that come. So it's it's a popular a popular thing to check out. Definitely. Okay, Andrew, thank you yes. very much for getting up that early in the morning. Uh, now your kids uh, will wake pretty soon, I guess. Yeah, my son's probably just jumped in the shower. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. Have a good day, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye bye.